keep changing your direction. Sometimes the trials of life can knock you to the floor. So hold your head up high. God will lead and guide you. Welcome to My Journey with Paula G, where we are all juggling this journey called life while walking in the gifts and the talents that God has given each and every one of us. I so appreciate y'all joining us. If this is your first time, oh my goodness, welcome. Thank you for joining us. If you are returning, we are so glad that you have tuned in once again. I tell y'all each and every week, and I know you all can say it with me, those of you who have been with me for a moment, I truly believe this, and this is why I say it every week, that time is precious. It is the one thing that you cannot get back. So for you to think it not robbery, to spend this time with us and in listening to this conversation on whatever platform you are listening, thank you. We truly, truly appreciate you. And we thank you so very much. We thank our underwriters because without them, this would not be possible. So we appreciate our underwriters as well. If you are interested in underwriting opportunities, Jerry Voice Live at gmail.com or Paula at PaulaGVoice.com as well and reach out to us and we can have that conversation. Also, if you would like to keep up with Paula G Voice, I am Paula G Voice across all platforms, whatever platform it is, Paula G Voice, I'm there. <laughs> so thank you all so much for your support. Before we bring on our guest today, which I am super excited about, I want to talk to you today for a little bit. Paula's perspective on rest. Ladies and gentlemen, in this particular season we are in, if we have not had demonstrations of the importance of rest, I don't know when we will. It is so very important. Some of us are just going and going and going and grinding and grinding and grinding. Our bodies need rest. Our, our mind, our body, our soul, our spirit needs time to rest and repair. God has created us to do so many things. Indeed, he has. But he has also created us as beings to rest. So I encourage you all to take the time to rest your mind, rest your body, rest your soul, rest your soul, bathe yourself in prayer so that you can rest, be rejuvenated, and do what it is that God has called each and every one of you to do. So that is today's Paula's Perspective on rest. Now it is time for my guest. I'm going to put my glasses on, make sure I can see this right here. My guest today is president and CEO of Tough Stuff Productions. He is an Emmy award-winning producer, songwriter, vocal arranger, professional drummer, actor, videographer, he is a man of God. He is, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Harvey Morris. My brother, it is so good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So glad to be here with you, Paula. Thank you. Yes, yes. So you you have been, oh gosh, during this season that we, we're in, you have been on quite a journey and, I, and we have a lot of things that we want to talk about in the time that we have. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Yes. On your journey you have done something that has just, I think, been phenomenal. The remake of Lift Every Voice and Sing. Tell us about that and how that came about. Wow. Well, uh, how it came about was because in church, I realized that a lot of us only know the first stanza. After the first stanza, we don't know the second nor third. And a lot of us don't really pay attention to the the relevance of that song and and it's our anthem you know and i felt like it was important that we we understand it so i tried to well not try to i created a um uh i created a version that hopefully we all can you know be open to and receive and remember all of the stanzas so we could sing when we sing it we sing it proudly and lovingly and, and consciously Yes, yes, because you know that because as as you said that the the 
each of the, the verses and each of the stanzas, they all have some meaning. You yes. Know, you know, treading. When we talk about, you know, um, a treading, when we talk about lifting every voice, you know, and, and the, through the years, the, to all of those things. It, yes. it, it's so in, important. I think a lot of times we just kind of miss the meaning in the lyrics of, of music and miss the meaning in the lyrics of the, of, of the song. So I appreciate you for doing that. And I, as, as, as a fan, <laughs> will be sure to support that and, um, you know, just continue, continue that journey. Cause you know, we, we usually sing it maybe once or, you know, what, once or twice a year. And, and a lot of times we, you know, we fail to, to really resonate on those, you know, particular lyrics. So thank you for that as well. It's you, just, uh -huh. I want to yeah. say, that's a song that we should be singing every day every week and the reason why is because it, it, it reminds us of, of the journey and it reminds us of where we need to go it, it, it for me you know when i think of that song it keeps us conscious and, and keeps us in the present you know because even though we've come a long way we still mm -hmm. have a long way to go you know mm -hmm. and we cannot forget you know people without a vision perish perish mm-hmm you know, so we gotta, as the song says, come out of that gloomy past. <laughs> come out of that gloomy past. Thank you for sharing that, and thank you for 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 um, just expounding on that because it is so very important. So, yes. your journey in this industry has has been a long one, yes. and let's go back to that twelve year old boy recording a commercial <laughs> for American Airlines. What, yeah. what did that little guy do? Wow. Well, I was playing at church. I was always playing at church. And the music director at the church, he had this group called Our Mother's Children. His name was Leon Tudman. And uh, God bless his soul, he made his transition many years ago. However, you know, he saw fit um, when he uh, recorded this commercial. He had an opportunity. Uh, American Airlines had given him an opportunity to uh, record the theme song. And um, he saw fit to bless me to be a part of that recording. You know, I played percussion on there and um, I had a good time. I had a great time. You remember, I, you remember how you felt? Did you realize at the time that the magnitude of what it was you, that you were a part of? Oh, well, you know, at the time, I didn't know the magnitude. But what I did remember was the, the fun. Um, what I remembered was the, the, just the, the family, the, the, the camaraderie, you know, to, you know, I'm, I'm 12 years old and I'm hanging out with folks in their 20s, 30s, you know, and they're teaching me the ropes and, you know, and showing me all this love and, and just nurturing me and helping me to be the musician I am today. Yeah, and, and that continued throughout your career because you shared the stage with a plethora. I don't. I, I was going to call names, but then I said, no, I don't want to start calling names because I'm not going to be able to call them all. But you've shared the stage with a plethora of gifted and talented individuals. Yes. Share with us some of those experiences, some of those memorable experiences that you've had. Okay, well, I, I think that the most memorable, I mean, I, I worked with a lot of people, but um, I, I had the opportunity of working with Stevie Wonder one time, and, and that was in the UN. That was a, a very memorable experience, um, just to experience him up close and personal and, and play behind him. It was a great experience. Um, but as far as life lessons, mm. three major artists that, uh, I learned a lot of industry lessons from them. Those, those persons were Cuba Gooding Sr. from The Main Ingredient, uh, uh, Freddie Jackson from Freddie Jackson, and Larry Blackman from the group Cameo. Those three experiences helped to shape my, my business acumen. And um, I'm, I'm just so glad to have, you know, those experiences because each one of those artists sat down and talked with me, you know, and, and it was such a blessing to, to be able to, to get that because we don't always get that from other folks. So mm -hmm. now I'm very grateful for those experiences. And, you know, that, that, that's so interesting that you mentioned that because we, you know, we've had guests on in the past who, you know, coming through the years 
were not as savvy with the finances and therefore they are in challenging positions today right. versus those who had that same experience. Either someone spoke into them or they just had the wherewithal themselves to kind of think beyond the moment. Right. You right. know, to where today they, you know, they they they've been blessed by that that thought, you know, to where they are today. They're, you know, in good financial position. So that is that is huge to to have that and well, to be able yeah. to navigate that. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, well, yes, I agree. And, and, and this is what I'm gonna say. Um as as artists, whether we're entertainers or 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 actual artists or whatever um, business we are in, what's important is financial um, financial literacy. And there's a difference between balancing your books versus investing versus uh, uh, growth. Um, it, it's important that we know our numbers. It's so funny that in our community, the things that are most important are the things that other people um, sometimes try to keep us from, like math, reading, science, social studies. See, because all of those things, those core, those core subjects, our math helps us to keep up with our numbers every day and helps us to, you know, make, uh, help us to make money, save money and grow money. Um, social studies teach us about the study of people and interaction with people. Science helps us to, I look at something and break it down to its lowest common denominator. And of course, you know, Reading and writing helps us to be able to articulate what we have learned. And so those core values are so important to us as a community to grow, to be empowered, to love, and to empower each other. That's a drop the mic moment right there. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to go back and hit that rewind button or whatever it is that you all do to hear <laughs> that again, because the brother just dropped some major knowledge, major knowledge and how those things are so important to, to sh shape the direction of our lives, to shape where we're going, how we're going, and where we wind up. So I, I hope you all caught that nugget because he, he dropped some, some, some serious knowledge right there. <laughs> and, no, and, that, and I would dare say that that comes from life lessons, right? That's correct. That Learned. is correct. Mm -hmm. That's correct. You, you, you know, that came from being in school, and asking the question and ne never actually having it answered. I would always ask in school, when I was in middle school, high school, why do we need these things? What's the purpose of having these things? And not having um, many teachers who can answer that question. See, when, when our children ask the question, why do I need these ch subjects? Our teachers should be able to answer it without a doubt. You know, it's important, it's important. Oh gosh, that's huge. That, oof. I can stop right there, but we're going to keep going. <laughs> we're going to keep going. So within your experiences, the, the remake of Lift Every Voice and Sing, your experience as a, as a child recording a commercial with American Airlines, your sharing the stage and gaining knowledge with, with so many incredible individuals, you also have done some voiceover work. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Wow, I did. Uh, let me see. I did quite a few, but um, the ones that stand out. Uh, what well, I did some music for. I did voiceover for Ashley Stewart. I did another one for uh, Nickelode Nickelodeon. Excuse me, back at the time. And um, let me see. What other? What other? Uh, thing? I, I did some what they call ADR work oh, for yeah. the movie that I was in. Um, and so, yeah, you, you know, we, we do those things and, and I enjoy those experiences. And, and for those who don't know what a voiceover is, in essence, you know, you, you're going in and, and you're, you're lending your voice to a character or you, you're creating a commercial or something like that using your voice and sometimes even your likeness. Yes, yes. And I think a lot of people don't realize how much voiceover they hear throughout the, the their daily lives and don't even realize that's right that that's, that's, right. That that's what it is and it, it's just a wonderful uh, platform to be able to to experience you had a cd back in 2016 harvey morris and the house 
of Praise. Praise. Hallelujah. Praise yes. To the house of praise. Hallelujah. Yes. I, um, my CD in, in 2016, when I released it, it was, it, it's more than just gospel music. It's, it's gospel music with accountability. You know, it's, it's about, you know, looking at ourselves, having an inner look at ourselves and, and, and learning to be responsible. You know, the Lord, the word says, uh, a faith without works is dead, you know, and it's, it's our responsibility to study, but it's also our responsibility to do the work. It's so important that we do the work because if we don't do the work, then what ends up happening is um, we end up losing our blessing. Mm. Hallelujah. So, so see, the CD is about doing the work. The CD is about um, uh, just being accountable, accountability. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I love it. I love it. We have about oh, maybe about four minutes left. I want to talk a bit about this movie. Ah. Yes, come on. <laughs> well, 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 well I, I was in two movies and a television series. Um, the, the movies that I was in, there's one movie with uh, CeeLo Green, Kara Knightley, Mark Ruffalo. That movie was called Begin Again, or is called Begin Again. And then I was in none, another movie with uh, um, Hugh Jackman called The Greatest Showman. And I was in the band in that scene, um, well, in that movie. And then the last uh, television series that I was in, that I'm in, is uh, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, season three. And, you know, with Rachel Bushanahan and all of those great artists, it was just, it was a wonderful experience. There's another brother um, who was there. His name on the show, his name was Shy Baldwin. He is now on Sex in the City, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually, um, it's airing in a, another platform. I don't think we can mention platform, but, right. you know, he's on the cable network. And, um, it's it's a great thing, but um, Mrs. Maisel, season three is on Amazon Prime. That's it. Excellent, That's it. excellent. How can the audience stay connected with Harvey Morris? Okay, well, you can reach out to me at my company at toughstuffpro.net, toughstuffpro.net, which is Tough Stuff Productions, but it's toughstuffpro.net. And um, you can reach out to me on, on that platform. Um, you can reach out to me on Facebook, Harvey Dot Morris. Um, there's a couple of Harvey Morrises, but when you see my face, you know it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Look for that face, y'all. That handsome face right there. You'll know it. <laughs> You'll know it. You are. You will know it's him. So you know we've heard that song. When I look back over my life and I think things over, I can mm -hmm. really say that I've been blessed. Hallelujah. I have a testimony, and I think we got about maybe a couple couple minutes left. I can okay. I lost track. I think we got a couple minutes left. <laughs> look back over. <laughs> when you look back over your life, can you tell us in a minute or so, just what comes to mind, what you're feeling? I have four words. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your wisdom your knowledge, your insight and understanding. Thank you for your love and your empowerment. Thank you for your direction. Thank you for giving me what you give me because I'm, I'm, I'm happy and I am satisfied. Hallelujah. That's all I can say. <laughs> and you know, and I, and I love that because during the course of this conversation, you know, you have shared with us your journey. You have shared how you've used your gifts and talents on this journey called life. And, you know, dare say juggling, you know, personal life and personal challenges, but still staying focused on what it is that God has called you to do. So you really are an example. You, you are such an example of the theme of this show, of juggling this journey called life while walking in the gifts and the talents that God has given you. Share with us one more time your, your, so, uh, social media, website, and so forth, because I want to make sure the audience gets that and, and, and stays connected. Yes, you want to go to toughstuffpro.net. That's T-U-F-F-S-T-U-F-F-P-R-O 
dot net tough stuff pro dot net and then you can reach me on facebook at harvey dot morris and um yeah and, and and you know what we all are a we are the walking word we are the living word each one of us whether it be positive or negative we are the living word so i choose to live in the positive and i know that you do too because i see you every day and i, I love what you do <laughs> Thank you, my brother. And with that, thank we thank you for being a part of the journey. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for tuning thank in, you. whether you're listening or watching. We thank you so very much. We thank our underwriters. Shout out to our producer, Jerry Voice Live. Email us, paul at paulagvoice.com, Jerry Voice, uh, Jerry Voice Live at gmail.com for any underwriting opportunities. And ladies and gentlemen, remember the greatest conversation that you are ever going to have is the one that takes place in between your ears. What Amen. are you speaking to yourself? Is God a part of that conversation? And are you listening to his still small voice? Until next time, my brother Harvey Morris, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, embrace the journey. Thank you.
Everybody, everybody. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Simple. Prison with the sound of the trumpet. Love, love with all your heart.